What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this uh, Teamer Double Genesis deck. This one has been really, really fun. Uh, if you missed part one, please go check it out. We did get only one win, but we did it in the way that we were hoping to do it, which was really, really fun. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that one. Uh, we are going to do three more games with it. Hopefully we can get a couple wins as well. Uh, this is just such a fun little deck. I, I think that it's very bad, but it's also very, very fun. This hand is pretty garbage. Uh, but with the scry lamb, we're gonna try it That's what we're doing. We're gonna try it. We got the grazer So we get a little bit of a uh, something at least to clog up the board in the early game uh, Let's get temple of mystery out Um, Like kind of right I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. That's probably a mistake, but you know what? We're we're having fun today. The whole goal of this deck is just to have some fun. It's not meant to be the best deck in the world. It's not even meant to be super competitive, but uh, it is meant to uh, to have some fun. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get this down. Let's do this. Get a second grazer, and then obviously get our land out, and we'll pass. Uh, here we are in a position, obviously, and that we knew that going in where um we're just kind of waiting for more stuff we we don't have a lot that we can do at this point um we either need lands which we've got plenty of or we need uh like i don't know what we need to be on it cultivates pretty good let's do that uh we're gonna need red um i think we just get both red put one down throw this one out and we pass uh so now we have two red we have two green and two blue so we really just need one more blue and we're in okay shape um we can then genesis ultimatum and really really get there but obviously we need to be a little lucky off the top here so we'll see uh we do have a slight skew towards green and blue and a little bit less red in the deck just in general um which obviously makes sense given that most of the deck is really in need of of some different stuff but this does help us get there i will say um it still takes an extra turn, but this does give us, you know, the green that we need to, to push the, the three blue. So this is great. Next turn, we can Genesis Ultimatum. They're not going to have a counter spell given what this deck is. Um, and so I'm not tremendously worried about that. We can block here. That's fine. I don't particularly care. Uh, if they shock it, that's completely fine. It does not matter to me. Sure. You got it. I really don't know why they attacked, but that's fine. Let's Genesis Ultimatum. Ooh, an Ugin. Yes, please. Uh, so here, I think we just minus three Ugin and get rid of, like, everything. <laughs> uh, we'll enter that tapped. So that's fine. Let's do this. Get rid of all this. Gets rid of a lot of their stuff and really only a couple things on our side that don't really matter. And now they have to be worried about what they play into the Ugin, uh, which I think is important. Let's go ahead and hit them for three. Play this. Um, yeah, we'll just play this out. There's a world where Genesis Ultimatum would have been better. Um, and it probably was because we did have a double vision there, but that's okay. We do need to protect the Ugin against, like, a questing beast or something along those lines, so I was kind of okay with doing that. Um, let's attack here. Let's do this. Let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five. We are going to keep the double vision. Uh, in case the Cavalier dies, I'd like to be able to um, uh, get that back. Okay. And we will attack here. Now that we've got a second threat, uh, if they do have a questing beast, we're able to at least deal with one of them. Or deal with it, excuse me. And now we're in pretty great shape. Uh, I mean, we've got a heck of a lot of haymakers in our hand, and we've got all the lands in the world to do it. So even if they dealt with everything on board, we still have 26 life and four really powerful things in our hand to deal with whatever. So not tremendously worried about that. <laughs> Um, it's pretty good. Uh, in which case, we just get double vision back, which I'm super fine with. Um, 
I'm not counting our lands, so I have no idea if we have enough to do this, but we're going to try. Uh, one, two, probably not. Definitely not, but that's fine. Let's hit them. I am going to attack here because they have to do something about it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Does that give us enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. Might give us enough. We're just going to do it because it doesn't really matter. They have to block here. Okay, or they just die. Well, we almost got to do our cool thing. <laughs> I was really hoping we could, but that's fine. Hey, ranked up. Gold tier three. I hate the resetting ladder thing. It's so annoying, but it makes sense. It's just frustrating. All right, let's go into game two. That was a pretty clean game. Uh, that was great. All right. See what we can do. Just want to mention really quick while we're waiting on an opponent, uh, if you would like to enter our Double Masters giveaway, you can certainly do so. Uh, subscribe to the channel and then comment on any video with hashtag Double Masters to, to enter. That is literally all you've got to do. Uh, we'd certainly appreciate the support and you can enter to win a free draft pack uh, of Double Masters, which is three booster packs. So I would say it's worth it, but you know, you do you. Um, <laughs> And I'm really, really excited to be giving away stuff again. It's been a little while since we've been able to do that. Um, mostly because of the issues with Jumpstart, we just weren't able to. Uh, they obviously kind of didn't have things available, we'll say. Um, but hopefully you guys will enter. We'd certainly appreciate it. Um, let's go ahead and do this now. It doesn't matter too much. It's deck thinning, I know. But um, what do we need here? Let's just get a second green. Okay. Play land. Uh, mm. I think we'll keep it. It's not a great uh, an option, but it's better than most other things in our deck at the moment. Um, well, that's not true, actually, is it? A land would have been the best. That was kind of a mistake. Uh, because we have these uh, Cavaliers, those would have, a land would have been the best, but that's fine. We learn. We learn, we learn. Let's do this. Ugin. Okay, well, good to know we wouldn't have gotten there anyway. So, at least we had to play that turn. Um, let's see, cards in. So we're still far off from actually just playing Uro. We also just need a second blue. We're not there yet. Um, Cavalier is definitely our next goal. Uh, double Vision's nice, but we're not really there yet. Um, goodness gracious. We are just getting slightly unlucky uh, in terms of lands. We've got so many in our deck, and we're just not getting there. Uh, sure. It's interesting. What is this deck out of curiosity? Is this just like four-color control? Whatever. Interesting deck. Narset. Okay. Narset's pretty good. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> Gotta assume they've got things like Dream Trawlers and stuff like that in the deck, which is just gonna be annoying, to, to be very frank. Um, let's do this. We'll get red and blue here. We're gonna keep pretty much every land, I think, at this point. We've got all this stuff in hand, it's just a matter of actually getting it out now, so that helps us do it. Uh, worth noting, we can only draw one card per turn, so we do need to keep that in mind. Teferi makes things slightly annoying as well. Ugh, don't know. Uh, Playmide Celebration might actually be helpful here, though. Hmm. Or just Genesis Ultimatum. Maybe that's the key. Let's do that. Okay, well. Obviously don't get to draw the card off of Uro here. Uh, but this does set us up fairly well for the next couple turns. Just so we've got all the mana in the world to do whatever we need. Um... The reason I don't love running Plane Wide Celebration out is because chances are they've got a sweeper. Now they definitely have access to a sweeper. Doesn't seem great, 
to be honest, but we'll we'll figure something out. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we draw the right land, we could potentially Genesis Ultimatum after double vision. That would be pretty sweet. Get double activations. I mean, if they've got a counter, they've got a counter. There's not much we can do, but we'll see. We will see. Anissa. Okay. That's cool. Sure. At least we know they're tapped out. That's helpful. That is not the right land. Let's Ugin. Get rid of all of it. Kind of helpful. Um, get a land down. Not super helpful. Um, the only thing that this doesn't help with is like the Nissa, for instance. Oh, or that. That's also pretty good. For sure. Um, but now this coming turn, we do get to, if I'm not mistaken, we can double vision and Genesis ultimatum. Which is very good. Enter tapped, that can enter tapped. Um, you, I guess. Doesn't matter too much. Alright. Enter's tapped. Enter's tapped. Probably could have done more this turn, but that's okay. Alright. Um put that on the bottom. Did they good game us? Really? Let's do that. All right, we've got three double visions. <laughs> Plane wide celebration is going to be real sweet. <laughs> okay. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> I wish we had our creatures with haste. That would be the only thing that would make this better, so we could just attack in immediately. Um, like a Perforos in this deck would be really cool, but. It is what it is. We can only do so much, obviously. Uh, target permanent goes back on top of our deck. I guess we'll just take a double vision. That seems okay. Uh, worth noting that this does make our uh, stuff a little bit more expensive this coming turn. Which is a bit challenging. Um, but it is what it is. The question is, do we just Genesis Ultimatum for a lot? That's our deck, though, right? So we probably can't. <laughs> um, okay. We're just going to do this um, a lot. <laughs> if they have a sweeper, they have a sweeper. I don't really... Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm actually not going to do that. Um, I will play this Uro, though. Let's do that. Just to have as much threat out as possible. Sure. Um, we could cultivate, but there's no point. All right. If they have a sweeper, that's just really good, but... Okay. Please don't have a sweeper. They're gonna have a sweeper, yeah, okay. Sure. Yep. I think we're just gonna lose the decking. We're at 15 cards. <laughs> I didn't think this deck would be very good at decking itself, but I guess it does make sense when you've got so many things that just throw a bunch of stuff out. Um, sure. Uh, it is what it is. All right. Whoops. Ow. That hurts. Um, okay. So we can kill ourselves here. Should we just kill ourselves? 
We might be in the camp of doing that. We need Ugin. We need our other Ugin. That is about as far from an Ugin as you could possibly get. Um, <laughs> should we? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just be sweet about it. <laughs> We're paying two. We're gonna die to our own thing and it's fine. Sure. No more cards, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do, should we do this? Probably, right? <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Um, oh, we could have potentially, yeah, that would have been cooler. Um. We're gonna kill ourselves. Yeah, all right. We decked it, that's fine. That was a really fun game. <laughs> that was a very, very fun game. All right, uh, I think our last game, this is our last one. Well, uh, if, I, if I'm mistaken and we needed one more, I apologize, but I think that this is the last one. I love this deck, this is just so fun. It's stupid. We're here to have fun. We got to uh, kill ourselves in that last game. We've gotten to win a couple times, I believe. Um, this is just fun. This is just silly. All right, against Peps. All right, Peps, let's do this. This is an okay keep. It's like fine. Um, we'll keep a lamb. We get to grow spiral next turn, uh, cultivate the following or uro the following. It depends kind of how we want to do it. Okay. Oops, let's do this and we'll pass. All right, guys, uh, as we are finishing out our game here, I just want to say that I hope you have a fantastic week this week. Um, I'm going to be fairly busy this week, so hopefully it won't be too bad and we'll be able to get our gameplay going as soon as uh, or as much as we possibly can. But um, I just want to encourage everybody to have a fantastic and a very safe week. Um, I know it's kind of a crazy time at the moment, so I just hope that you guys are all staying safe and doing the best you can. Let's do this. Kind of surprised they didn't attack, but whatever. Um, get that out. Land. Probably could have gotten a second blue, but that's fine. Um, let's cultivate. All right, now we just have all the land in the world. So next turn, if we want a double vision and then we can follow it up with a Genesis ultimatum, that's probably just the way to go because they're not doing a ton. Why not? Let's take the opportunity. Again, here to have fun, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we, we are missing a blue here. <clears throat> that's fine. I don't particularly care about that. We need a blue. That's not a blue. Let's do this. That is a blue. Uh, Inner's tapped, so that's fine. And then we'll play a grazer. All right, next turn we ultimatum for 10. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised at like how many times we've at least gotten to do the combo. It's not like the it's not even that we're winning every time, it's just that it's working, uh, which is kind of a, kind of crazy. <clears throat> oh, an Ugin, oh good. <laughs> oh, I love it. And another double vision. Um, we'll enter tap, so that's fine. Ooh, yes please. That's a heck of a finisher. Uh, we'll put Steam Vents out. We never even played a land for the turn. Uh, let's do this. Oh, okay, good. 
<laughs> oh man, this deck is like really fun. Okay, uh, to summarize, one one thing to note, like I said, this is meant to have fun. This is not meant to be super competitive. On the other hand, <laughs> it's actually really kind of fun. Um, it's not super good. Like it it falls short in a lot of areas, um, but it pretty reliably was able to get the combo off for the most part. Um, and when it gets the combo off, it kind of just wins. I mean, it just has a lot to do. Granted, that last game, not this past one, but the one before that where we just had to kill ourselves, um, against a control deck, I think it falters pretty heavily because they just have sweepers. They sweep the board. You're kind of in bad shape. But um, we just have a lot of ways to kind of deal with stuff, and this is a really fun deck. So I, I encourage you to try this one. It's hilarious. Try and see if you can maybe switch things around a little bit and see if you can get something else going. But overall, this was a really, really fun one. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure to enter the Double Masters giveaway again if you've got the chance. We would certainly appreciate it. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.